If you are looking for a fast and easy recipe for delicious chocolate chip cookie bars, then you have come to the right place. With just a few simple ingredients, you'll be able to create this holiday recipe that is sure to please. Nothing ever starts without a cup of tea, but I'm not going to put that into the recipe because <laughs> that would be bad. So with my cup of tea here and my, oh I see my James foot, there's James foot right there because James is my helper. <laughs> James is going to help us with all these things and we've made some interesting discoveries along the way so we'll see how this all works out. So we start first with our cups of sugar. So we need our one cup of white sugar, put it into the bowl. And we need our one cup of brown sugar, put into the bowl. Can I have the spoon please, Sarah? That spoon, yay, okay. Just gotta get this scraped out of here because we were measuring our oil in this one cup measurement. However, when we were measuring the oil, we discovered we didn't have enough. How much oil did we end up with? Two thirds. We ended up with two thirds. So we are going to do a little bit of an experiment and we'll see how this goes out. So, if you would please, sir, let's, let's bring over what we did here. Okay, this is one third of a cup of melted margarine. Bring the oil over, please. And that is two thirds of a cup of oil. Okay. And we're going to put them in here because that would angle up as three thirds. Synchronized. Which pour. is one. Synchronized pouring. Woo! <laughs> Delicious. Oh, I tell you. Here, I'll get this out of my cup. There we go. Just hold yours over the, the thingy there. Thank you, sir. Okay. Ah! <laughs> Alrighty, so I will mix this up and while I'm mixing this, if you could please bring us over Thanks. three megs, one for each third of whatever. So let's start this together and I know that our brown sugar had some lumps in it. It's not as bad as the brown sugar I was working with when I was making my brown sugared carrots. If you care to see that and laugh at me, or along with me, which would be nicer, you're more than welcome <laughs> to check out that very, very easy recipe. Okay, Mr. James Ross, sir. The cracking of the nags. I want to eat that. <laughs> it does look good. Right now, right now we're good. <laughs> ah! One third of whatever. <laughs> Two, Two thirds, thirds of whatever. Of whatever. <laughs> I'm gonna give it a Ramsey. You are, but we're gonna need that thing that you're dropping all the eggs in afterwards, so. Unfortunately. <laughs> we'll get it cleaned out and then we'll A casualty of more. I guess. <laughs> Three thirds of whatever. Awesome! Right on. Okay, I am going to stir this all up, and as I am doing that, James is going to be measuring out two cups of flour, which you could probably actually do in this one extra measuring cup, which we do have. That might work for all our dry stuff. After you wash your hands very well. There we go. Okay. Now, this will be going into a 9 by 13 um, cake pan, which you will not need to grease. Um, obviously, you can see why you will not need to grease your 9 by 13 cake pan. <laughs> It'll be highly unnecessary with all the oil and the eggs that are in here. But these are, are rich and delicious. I have not made these. Oh gosh, I don't think I've made these for about 10 years, James. Um, I had them at an Avon party while we still lived in Blossom. Okay, so this is all mixed together, so the next thing we're going to add, please, Chef James, is two cups of flour. Or you too kind with the titles. Or, or Baker James. Still too kind with the titles. <laughs> good thing I've, uh... Are you waiting for me to do it again, aren't you? <laughs> I'm pretty good half mixed, so it works. There we go. I got poofed. Take it off of the sides there. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Now, before this gets all mixed in, add and thoroughly blend the rest of the ingredients, which includes the two cups of flour, one teaspoon of baking powder, 
and one teaspoon of baking soda. Everything's one teaspoon, so that's great. And we've been cleaning up as we go because that just simply gives you more counter room and room to work with. So there's a really cool trick to this. There we go. So these will actually fit right in. That's what I did. To the container. That's what I did. Okay. Now, and once it's in there, it will actually glide right off like that. That was. An issue. Isn't that cool? That is really cool. So there yeah, it is. Do 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 do. <laughs> okay, and that much please, sir. So that was the baking powder. So we need that much as well of the baking soda. You know what's going to happen. I'm also going to need one more cup of tea. <laughs> By the time I'm done. Now this one. This one's a little trickier. Okay, so that one you're going to actually have to probably... <laughs> it's stuck. Hey, hang on. What did you do? I got it stuck. Oops. <laughs> We're good. <laughs> we'll try this again. One teaspoon of baking soda. Blomp. <laughs> there it is. One teaspoon oh of vanilla. Okay. Behold. Behold, one teaspoon of vanilla. The juice. Ah! Well, that was exciting. <laughs> Find the half teaspoon. And put salt in it, please. Sir. Smells really good. Never tastes good. Oh, this smells very the good. The vanilla. Oh, okay. I tried drinking the vanilla before. Oh no, no, no! We don't drink the vanilla. <laughs> no, 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 no. Half no. teaspoon. Um, one half one. teaspoon of salt, please. When we hit the um, chocolate chip stage, which will be happening very soon, we will also turn on the oven. One salt. Why salt? Go salty, salty, salty. A salty, 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 salty. <laughs> hey, I've been assaulted. Mwaha, <laughs> mwaha. Perfect. Thank you, sir. Okay, so we're going to pause this and I'm going to go and turn on the oven and make it to 350 degrees. Okay, so we <laughs> It's a good thing that he's measured these out here because he's already enjoying them. Boy, those smell so good. How many do you have in there? Do you request them all? Well, um, I will probably munch a few out of this because this is more like one of the third. <laughs> Which is a few too many. You want in about possible. a cup. So I'm going to put in some. Wow. I should get you stirring this, James Aaron. I could stir. This is, this is some good. Look at this. These are easy. Allow me, madame. These are good. Oh! Man with muscles. Yeah, right. Hey! Chocolate chips! <laughs> okay. Do we add a few more? Definitely. <laughs> Bruh. Here we go. <laughs> did I get you with the chocolate chips? You did. <laughs> a lot less dangerous, mind you, than the flour. I was going to say, I think I still have flour on my knuckle here, too. <laughs> what I can do now is get my teeth. Do you want to put a few more? Uh -oh. I need to sneeze. James Aaron! <laughs> I do, I need to sneeze. Okay, step away from the food. No sneezing in food. Carry off. Not just yet. Go away. <laughs> on, I'm good. <laughs> Don't okay, sneeze in no. the... <laughs> Bless you! <laughs> I'm gonna add just a few more. And then, uh... That's what this is. Okay. <laughs> okay. This has to go into the pan. Could you please bring? No, do not drop the chisel into the food. Sniff, sniff. Sniff, sniff. Get him out of there! <laughs> okay. On that note, let's bring over the pan. Oh, gi oh, child with muscles. What? Can you pick up the bowl, please? Bowl. Bowl. Pan. Okay, one nine by thirteen baking pan. That, sir, is going to all dump in here. Okay, please. well, you're going to need the spoon. I need the spoon. 
Are we on the right side here? Okay. Oh. Now that's really neat. It's because it's glass. It looks like you're dumping it on the counter. Ready? Don't dump it on the counter. I would enjoy you're, that. You're working on dumping it on the counter. <laughs> <laughs> this is definitely more exciting. I tell you. Let's uh, let's rearrange directions here. Whoop. Okay, My hand the, was all on the camera. Okay, tip the bowl up for a second here. Let's see what's going on. The other oh. way. <laughs> okay. How do we do? Did we get it all out? I don't think I did, did I? Okay. Christmas is like one of the worst times for trying to go on a diet. What do you mean? I've lost seven. Well, yeah, but we haven't hit Christmas yet. <laughs> tis the season. I know, tis the season for... Chips. Chocolate chips. Waste not, want not. <laughs> I got two more spoonfuls out of this. Okay, Jamesy. You want to take that out of the way for me? Okay, good. Just down into the sink there. Fill it with water. I have not previously licked my finger, so it's okay. And because there is raw egg in here, I will not be licking my finger. So these are going to go in, or this, at the moment, because it hasn't been cut into bars yet. But this, once you got it all kind of spread out as evenly as you can. Okay, you can turn that off, please. <laughs> <laughs> That's one uh, chocolate chip bar hot tub bath. <laughs> okay. There we are. Yes, I did. You were small enough. Big hot tub. We're going to put these in the oven for 35 to 40 minutes at 350 degrees. We'll start at the, the lower one and we'll see how it goes. Perfect. I should have had my, uh, my snowman <laughs> mittens on. Okay, we're gonna test this with the toothpick. And the middle. And the toothpick. I think I stabbed the chocolate chip. What do you think? <laughs> Perhaps. Perhaps? <laughs> Just a little. Let's try to not stab a chocolate chip. Although, by the way, it's already cracking around the sides. I'm gonna say this is probably. Probably done. It reminds you of the Pizza Hut um, cookie pie thing. Yeah. Yeah, we're good. We're good. If it comes out clean, it's ready. Yes. So it looks like it smells one. very nice. Oh, it smells so good. Giant. Massive. Cookie. Cookie guy. And the neat thing is, is you can see down through the sides, too, eh? You see any chocolate chips hiding in there? Indeed. Yes, no? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Perfect. So, oh. It is a... Perhaps a little well done around the sides, but that's okay. It's pulling away from the sides, and uh, this this will work out all right. So the reason why I call it, of course it's called uh, cookie bars is it's like a giant cookie uh, in here, and then you cut it into into bars. So I know if the guys were out here, they'd want me to do like one and two, and <laughs> but we're not going to do that. <laughs> and the neat thing is, is if you happen to be able to. Um, be doing a, a cookie exchange, Stranger Things, or if you happen to be able to go um, uh, to a gathering, because in some places, you know, or for just your family, right, these are, are really nice. This is a nice, simple, quick, easy treat that we have all created here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Therefore, if I did three this way, that would make 18, right? I could do it that and make 12, which would make the guys very happy, but I'm not going to. <laughs> there, you can make them definitely smaller. I'm certain you could get, you know, easily 24 out of this, or, or however many you wanted to. These are obviously not equal. Um, these will be mine. <laughs> the guys can fight over these, but I get the big ones. <laughs> Serve out for me. First one's always the most difficult. But remember, we didn't grease the pan, so here we are. Ta da! That came out really, really well. Especially when you consider the fact that I'm actually 
bring this backwards. Look at that. That just slid right over there. One more here. So that everybody gets to try them. Look how easily, James. Look. So see how they, they just slid right out and didn't even leave because of all the, the oils in them and everything? So they just slid right out under the plate for us. And they do look very good. They look like pizza hut quality. They, yeah, hopefully even better than pizza hut quality. Uh, find out. I will let you find out. Just give me a moment here. There you have it. They slid out beautifully. Chocolate chips all throughout. They look absolutely delicious. And I've got my cup of tea. And I've got three Christmas plates here <laughs> to put these guys on so that we can enjoy them. Give this recipe a try. Let me know what you think. If you've got any variations, I'd love to hear them. Maybe white chocolate chips would be quite delicious in here. Even uh, something drizzled on top, perhaps. Either way, Merry Christmas and enjoy. I'm going to try. <laughs> we'll see how this tastes. The, the, the reports back are that they're pretty good, so. Mm. <laughs> now try the crust as well. Okay. Oh, like turn it around? Yeah, just mm. munch the crust. The crust is actually not bad either. It's like a big, yeah. Mm. <laughs> so they're like giant cookies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Soft in the center, a little crunchy on the outside. Mm -hmm. That's alright, eh? It is. <laughs>